Too close? <laughs> back to back. <laughs> hum, 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 hum. Hum. Humana, humana. What's that from? <laughs> this episode, we're talking about mobile page speed. How fast is your site? It matters. Okay, so mobile. We're talking about mobile today. Um, uh, there's been a, a major change that's coming huge. in. Huge. Huge, huge. Um, there's a huge change coming from Google regarding your mobile ranking that's going to be rolled out in July of this year, July of 2018, in case you forgot the year. Uh, but why that's important to you is back in 2016, mobile traffic actually surpassed desktop. And ever since, Google has been putting a ton more focus um, behind the importance of mobile. So speed, that's where you know, this is falling today. Um, July 2018, your mobile page speed, not to be confused with your desktop page speed, uh, will be a huge determining factor on your rankings in Google search. This is all true. Very. Yes. So Couldn't you be may true. be asking yourself, what do we need to do to make sure we're not getting affected negatively by this? So on the website side of it, that's pretty much where all falls. Again, you said you have page rank speed, which mm -hmm. is for the desktop and mobile, they split it up. So your desktop typically renders at one speed and mobile now at another. Even if you have a responsive site, they're gonna be ranked differently. So if you're kind of, in a sense, just making your desktop site just respond nicely and look good on mobile, um, and you're not optimizing images for that mobile experience, you're basically loading larger desktop, high resolution images you don't need. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of factors there that you can kind of optimize your site to improve it. Um, I would say the biggest things are making sure your images are optimized. Um, clients large and big, we see constantly images yeah. way larger than they should be in file size. That's going to definitely What's, what's an optimized image for our viewers? Yeah, I mean, the worst case that we see is someone uploads a picture right from their phone, which is three, four, five megs, and puts it in there and then shrinks it down to 300 pixels. Um, great. Not, not, <laughs> not, not helpful. Not great for page load speed, no. Um, so yeah, you want to optimize those, whether it be your designer or there's online tools and stuff too. You can do the um, tinypmg.com. I believe it is png.com. Um, they're a good one. They'll reduce the file size, but they won't necessarily reduce the or the uh, dimensions of the file. So if it's yeah. 4,000 by 4,000 or something pixels, it won't knock that down, but it might knock down the whole overall file bit size. Um, so that's an easy tool to use. But yeah, have a designer if you have one, or yeah. you have Photoshop in the office, whatever. Um, knock those down to whatever pixels you need, don't have them larger. Um, a big deal would be your web, web hosting too. Uh, I know you got a lot of cost to business and website and such, and you kind of want to go somewhere affordable for web hosting. Usually, you're, there's a reason it's affordable. They usually jam so many websites on one server in a shared mm -hmm. environment. Um, that makes it very efficient for them to run their business. But it also means you're sharing a lot of resources with other sites. And if a few of these other sites are big resource hogs, it affects you as well. Um, so just pay a little bit more for a more quality uh, host there, and you're definitely gets that. That's a quick fix. Yeah. It's going to immediately improve the speed of your site. Um, having tools or a host that uses caching, um, basically storing files so not loading every time for every user, that's going to help you guys. There's plugins if you're using WordPress or Magento or something like that. Um, but be careful on the plugins. You don't want to go plugin yeah, heavy. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, ideally for sites, you want to be building stuff with code into the site and optimizing it well. Um, plugins are really nifty and handy for mm -hmm. quickly getting something rolled out and it's more affordable. They're there already. Um, but yeah, having a site that's got poorly written plugins or 40 right. plugins. They're going to cause yeah. conflicts. They're going to load twice as many scripts that they even need to load just because it's the way they're built. Um, so that's going to definitely have an effect on your, your speed. Um, and we've even seen some plugins that are caching plugins for WordPress cause major issues of breaking sites and stuff like that. So oh, that's just fun. be, yeah, it's fun coming back and seeing that. So <laughs> you got to really be careful of just which plugins you use. Yeah. Um, and you want to make sure they're ones that you know, have good ratings and are updated often. If it's and two years has been updated. It's probably pretty inefficient code, just older uses. Um, so you might find something newer or build something ideally. Yeah, um, and I would say to, uh, to be AMP ready, we've talked about it before and written about it in our perspective on our site. Um, but to have AMP pages, A-M-P, if you're not sure what that is, we can you know fill you in and put a link in somewhere, maybe here to, in the show or notes. here yeah. or in the show notes <laughs> that you can click on. Um, AMP pages 
cut down on your page load time between anywhere between 15 and 85 percent so that's a huge amount google's really really pushing amp so if you can get your your site um, amp optimized that's just hugely near benefit especially for july and um, the last things that I wanted to add was to uh, a quick, free, easy way to test your site. You know, we've said all this, but how do I know if my site is mobile ready or, or not mobile ready, but um, it, it loads quickly on mobile specifically. Uh, you can just go to Google and search for mobile page speed insights. This is not to be confused with Google page speed insights. There, there's that one, and then there's um, Google's mobile page speed insights. The difference is you'll know you're on the right one when you see a big blue screen and there's a big picture of a phone there. Um, you just plug in your website there and it'll run the test for you. It'll tell you if you're in the green, yellow, or red, you know, running fast or slow. And then it'll, um, you can even ask them for a more detailed report to get emailed to you to tell you all the different things that are wrong with their site and you can send it to your webmaster, get it all fixed up. Yep, another good site too, um, gtmetrics.com, I believe it is, is a good site to do some scanning. They'll give you really in depth of what scripts might be even causing the slowdown or okay. certain images and kind of knock through it. So it's a good secondary tool to get a lot of analytics on what's slowing your site down. Yeah. We want to be fast. Fast as the wind. The rabbit wins this race. Don't tell the tortoise. Yeah. Didn't work for bugs though. Bunny? Bugs, bunny. Mm -hmm. he Never lost does. The all right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. We hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, check the show notes for those links we talked about. Yeah. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Subscribe. See Thanks. ya. Bye. We've got it all. We just did an episode. Did you get my singing? <laughs> we probably do have the humming in there. Good. <laughs>